crafters. I am starting a brand new project. I'm going to do this wine glass beach sunset diamond painting. I'm really excited about it and let me show you a little preview picture. This is one that I received for free during our community craft swap and I always thought I would just kind of keep it in my stash, see if I got to it, because you know I have a lot of other paintings in my stash. I have the big uh, a Princess Diamond Art Club. I have a Heartful Diamonds that's shipping out this week. That's gonna be in my stash. I have a huge Star Wars inspired one. But with everything going on, honestly, the idea of looking at the wine glass, the sunset, the beach seems really peaceful and tranquil to me. So. This one has been bumped up to my next, my next painting. I'm gonna kit this up and I just kinda wanted to show it to you before I really got started and then undoing all the plastic and things like that. And a heads up, I'm not upstairs. I am downstairs and my kids are playing in the next room so you'll probably hear them. And hopefully they're not fighting. 10 minutes ago they were fighting, now they sound okay. And here's how this one looks. I haven't measured it. It doesn't say the size on the on the canvas, but my hand is for measure. So it's really not that large. And here are the symbols. Now again, since uh, I didn't or I wasn't the one who ordered this, um, I know it came from Amazon, but I don't know which seller from Amazon this is from. And I went ahead and I put my little tapies onto my my, um, my storage drills. And now there's not many colors in this painting. I actually haven't counted yet. So maybe around 30. I'm actually going to need, I'm going to run out of space in this one. I'm going to need to set up a second one. But since there's, it's a smaller painting and not many drills, I'm using the smaller organizer instead of my large purple one. And I'm going to do my best with the plastic so you're not listening. Frankly, so I'm going to get started. Go. The 20 by 30. My inventory list looks pretty good. Wow, 16 bags of 310. I mean, I guess this whole area is just mostly a lot of black or the top of the wine glass. That seems like a lot for this. And it looks like some are really tiny. A little nervous with this bag. Can you see? Let me get, let me get at that top right hand corner of this bag. We've got some little bits from the drill. I actually don't even know, wow. I didn't even know if this was a round or a square, but um, hopefully with the glare, there's no glare, you can see the square. Interesting, this will be my first square ever. But then there's also some larger bags of 310. Yeah. These look much better. I don't see the uh, little tiny bits of plastic left. I probably won't even put many 310s in my organizer. It just takes up so much space. Oh, yay, baggies. I like using these for smaller projects or larger projects when I open up a 310 and I don't want to put them all in here. I use the baggies. Okay. Wow, that's a really pretty pink, like a coral pink. I hope, I think I have some pretty good light. What you see, I see. Oh, that's a nice blue. 
That is DMC 826. Trying to make sure. This one actually looks a little darker on camera than what I see. So imagine that a tad bit lighter. Ooh, so sage green. Oh, let me put a white background so I can white, I can color out. Sage green was one of my wedding colors. I love it that much. So I'm excited to see where that's gonna go in this canvas. I mean, where would, hmm. I don't know where the sage green would go. Yes, somewhere on there. Let's check it out. Ooh, a nice marigold and a more yellow tone. So that'll obviously sunset colors. Okay, I'm I'm happy to see this many DMCs that are just one digit off. I have 734, 7, 7, 43, 7, 44, and 7, 45. Um, um, actually. So having just one DMC off for the yellows means it'll be a really nice transition as I drill. So I'm looking forward to that. I, I really like that in paintings instead of jumping all around. It makes a nice faded image. Great, these colors look really good. Actually, the that ooh, that's odd. Um, that one bag of three tens so far has been the only one that looks a little iffy with extra plastic drills kind of hanging out in it, or you know, like cut up drills. I did not know this was a square. That's really cool. I have not done a square before because I prefer round. I like having the extra wiggle room because I'm not very precise at putting them in the box. But I'm going to go ahead and check that out. And let's see. I'm going to organize them, get them all in a row, and then I'll start putting them in the box. So let me do that real quick. Okay, laid them all out. Um, something I'm going to need to take note of to the bags are open. So 168 and this 3721 are actually open, I guess the way it was cut. So I had some drills spill out and I'm gonna put them back in one of the little plastic bags that came with this kit, but I really hope I'm not short because of that, like a bunch didn't spill out at a factory. But I'm gonna show you all of them. Here's my 310, I have 150, 152 up here, 154, 168, 712, 726, 413, 451, 646, 647, sorry, let me get up there, 743, 744, 745, 794, which is, this is actually a really pretty blue. I don't know if I've used this color in any of my kits before. I do save my extra drills, so that's why um, the number just doesn't seem like one I've maybe used in the past. And these are hard to read because they're so dark. 838, 823, okay, so let me switch those. Mm -hmm. Perfectionist, gotta do that. And then we have 826, Two bags of that one. Uh, 934. Again, that one was kind of like cut a little weird. 938, 977, 3041, 3721. This is that one that was cut or ripped, or that one I'm going to be a little concerned about as I work. This is a very pretty, pretty grayish pink color, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, hopefully it's coming across well. 3743, 3752, 3785, 3861, and 3864. You know, I was thinking about it. I could go ahead, put this all in my storage unit organizer. Probably take me about 30, 40 minutes. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the video, I will work on organizing these, and then the next video will be a drill with me. And I think what I'm going to do for the first drill with me for this canvas, I am not 
going to talk at all about self-isolating, the virus, anything like that. I have so much to catch you up on from February that I'm going to talk about everything before, much more positive, and I'll make sure to put in the title, title No Virus Talk. And then the second drill with me for this canvas will kind of be talking a little bit more in depth of everything we've been going through, specifically in Germany, since we all have started self-isolating. But this is it. I'll probably put these videos up pretty close to each other, like just a day apart, because I'm gonna kit this up and I'm gonna get started right now. So I will talk to you soon, crafters. If you have any questions that you wanna put down below, I'll make sure to answer it in the drill with me, uh, either the first or second, depending on, um, probably the second, because the timeline is the first will already happen. Come on, Meredith. But put it down below, I'm always here. I'm really loving chatting with you guys because it gives me something to do. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye crafters.